When we disentangle the core wireframe skeletal diagram from its environment, displaying its similarities to the developmental phases of the human brain and to the phi spiral of the nautilus shell, the phi over pi light cone model for showing the evolution of the local universe over its entire lifetime remains. In this arrangement, it is easier to distinguish the sequence of black arcs between the 8th and 10th iterations of the green pi or space spiral and the red phi or time spiral. This sequence of arcs governs not only humanity's materialistic rise and fall, but also signifies our only course if we hope to live on beyond the death of Earth. This series of arcs, deceptively simple as they are, shows us how humanity, as a species of life form negentropically made of matter, inside a cosmos entropically decaying from matter into energy, is merely riding a wave of entropic decay as the elemental forces reverse their original order of formation following the Big Bang and slowly evaporate, one by one, in the opposite order they originally formed. Let us look at the cosmological cycle that underlies the human social cycle's rise and fall of empires over the few aeons of our own human history. We see it consists of six arcs, occurring as continuous segments of one cycle of force transference from one elemental force to the next. Each arc carries a force from left to right on this graph at a certain rate dependent on its distance from a central core origin point that occurs opposite each arc. So here we see that in the time it would take matter, the bosons produced by fusion, to travel a distance of three equal units on the bottom ruler, mind, mental energy, or the force of psi, could have traveled six units of equivalent distance, and gravity, operating at a rate of c squared in the form of superluminal tachyons, would have gotten 15 such units. The reason for the oscillation of the arc's core origin points between entropic toward the bottom or negentropic toward the top remains unknown. Without adding a more complex terrain for environmental context, the motions seen in the series of six arcs equivalent to the four elemental forces in reverse order from their split at one Planck time following the Big Bang, including also Psi, the fifth elemental force of the sixth sense, mind, and ZPE, the nulliverse at the end of time, cannot be so easily explained. If they are seen in a larger context, various other barriers and forms of impediment, then they become the obvious path of least resistance within such a model, and then their behaviors become rational and explicable. What we are seeing in this diagram is the individual below, divided by the bicameral or dual hemispheric nature of their own brains to seek balance and solution to this condition by rearranging material reality to suit their own goals. To accomplish this, they enter into the bargaining strategies necessary to survive economic exchange with pre extend society as a whole. Within the core of this entire social value system arises the same pattern as we find expressing the four elemental forces 
in reverse sequence as they appeared, plus MIND and ZPE. In this manner, we see that the rise and fall of human societies has been only a phenomenon we've experienced while floating on the surface of a larger pattern, consisting of a much longer term trend for influence on a much larger cosmic scale, and that if we continue on in this trend as we are now, we may yet be able to outlive Earth, but we could not survive the death of the material cosmos itself.